Okay, what's up guys? It's me, Andrea, and Amia. Hey then. So this is going to be a really quick impromptu video because I'm in the process of doing Amia's hair and I'm actually almost done. I only got this much more of this section and then this little section here to go. But I wanted to show you guys her hair and the little style that I'm putting it in because this is actually the first style Mia has gotten on her hair since I cut it on July 7th of last year and when I say I cut her hair completely off I cut her hair it was what yeah when I say I cut her hair all the way off I cut it completely off started completely over and this is how much it's grown in less than a year's time i don't know much about doing hair tutorials because that's part of the problem i had and the reason i had to cut her hair in the first place is because i don't know how to do hair but i think this is a pretty safe um little hairstyle to do amia her hair texture is really dry and it's really 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 kinky i don't know if you can tell here this is all moisturized by the way but this is what her hair looks like when it is just doing its own thing just sitting there minding its own business so as far as the products and stuff that i'm using i have the spray bottle and in the spray bottle is some conditioner detangler water some oils and i think that's it and then i'm also using this curl enhancing smoothie by shea moisture and i'm using that first on her hair so mia's hair is usually pretty pat down and really dry so what i do is i take this and i spray this all over her head and i'll just rub it until her hair starts to expand because it expands like a sponge so i rub it in there until it starts to expand and then i take the smoothie and then i go ahead and rub that in and i kind of just work it through until everything is moisturized and i don't feel any dry spots or anything like that and then i start to um, detangle from the back up to the front so all of this is nice and detangled maybe you can see that but all of this it's nice and detangled it's clean and all that good stuff and so once I'm done with that I start to separate it and the way I keep it stretched out and keep the moisture in there is where the gorilla snot comes in so this is something that I use on both me and Amia's hair um, I'm thinking about trying it on Darion's hair just to see what it does to his curls. I really, really love this stuff because not only does it keep my hair down when I'm getting ready for work and stuff like that, this is what I use for my very, very slick ponytails, but it's also super moisturizing. And when I put it on Amia's hair, it's not making any of those flakes or anything like that. So I put this on her hair, got some hair in there. So I put it on her hair and I kind of massage it into her hair. And then after that, I twist it and then I take a paper towel and damp anything that's extra on there and go from there and that's how I get these super cute little twists on her hair so I'm gonna go ahead and do one just to show you guys what I'm talking about if I can figure out how to do that with this camera and everything like I said never done this before but yes so I hope this turns out right but just to kind of show you what I was talking about um the way I'm doing it is I'm separating this into bigger plots just so I'm not pulling little pieces like little strands of her hair and so it won't take too long because again this is the first time in almost a year she's actually sat here to have her hair done and so far she's doing pretty good I think she's just excited about having the barats on her hair again all right so it's separated and what I like to do is I get the gorilla snots and I just go ahead and put it on around that little piece yeah and I just massage that in and I know it probably seemed like it would be messy it kind of is but after everything is done it's it's fine it feels just nice and moisturized so now that that is nice and massage in there I grab a rubber band and then you put the rubber band on there and when I'm putting the rubber band on I do put it on a few times and I just check for those little lump things I don't know exactly what they're called but I want to make sure that they're not too tight or anything like that check for those just so I can make sure they're not too tight okay so after I'm done with that little ponytail I go ahead and separate these and I start to twist it but because her hair it still kind of gets tangled at the bottom of the ponytail I take a little bit of extra gorilla snot and I put those at the tips and I kind of massage that through as I'm twisting her hair up 
and again her hair is still um, pretty short way shorter than it was um, still when I cut it and so as I'm twisting her hair and I want to make sure it's neat and that's another reason why I put the grill is not on but I still <laughs> massage it through so I can make sure the strands aren't getting tangled and stuff like that and this one might need more glue smut on it. Then I twist it around a little bit. Then I take these rubber band. Make sure the barat stays on. So that is how I'm doing her hair. So again, I separate the little piece with some Gorilla Snot. You gotta massage it all the way through. So this one is actually a little bit fatter than I wanted it to be. And I'm gonna assume that's because I didn't put enough Gorilla Snot on it. And then I can still feel some of the hairs in this piece that I'm, mas that I'm massaging right now. Um, I still feel some tangled hairs in there. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna comb through it a little bit. And when you get a majority because with Mia's hair her hair is just naturally really really kinky but once you get all of that out look how much more her hair stretched and then the rubber band rubber band on Okay, so I always run into this issue where once I get to the top of the head, the pattern is not there, so I don't know how to part it. I don't know where I want to go with it. Um, so I'm kind of struggling right now, but let's see, let's see what we do. Let, let's see what I come up with. And we are all done. So I just put a bunch of two strand twist in the back of her head with some barats. I didn't do braids because again, with her strand of hair and the way it tangles up, I'm not that good at doing hair. So when I braid her hair, even after a few days, it ends up all matted and tangled and stuff like that. But I noticed when I do little twists like this, it's easier to take down and her hair actually stays a little stretched. I could not figure out what to do with the top of her head. So obviously, as you can see, it's super random, but I kind of just put this little ponytail thing at the top with some balls and I thought that was kind of cute. So yeah, this is Amia's first hairstyle after getting her big chop. Do you like it? Yeah. Let me see. Yeah, let me see. Let's go upstairs and look in the mirror. Do you like it? What color is it? Pink. It's pink and what else? Pink white. Do you like it? I'm glad you like it. I think she gotta get adjusted to it. Now you can shake your hair again. Your hair got so long. <laughs> it turned out way better than I thought it would. Ooh. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay, are you gonna do the outro? Thanks for watching, subscribe my hair, the colors, 